The Amazing Spider-Man stars Andrew Garfield. High school student Peter Parker becomes a superhero and he must fight the wizard. Mark Webb directed this movie. He also directed the sequel. He is famous for 500 Days of Summer, which I haven't seen. His latest movie, Gifted, came out last spring. I liked it. Spider-Man 3 was a huge hit, but it polarized audiences. I recently reviewed it because it's 10 years old now. I feel my review was lacking a little bit, whatever. Sony and Ouchie wanted to make Spider-Man 4. They scheduled it for 2011. Sam Raimi dropped out because he was being rushed. The Amazing Spider-Man was a huge hit, but it polarized audiences. I originally loved it. Now I feel it's decent. Andrew Garfield was good as Spider-Man. He was okay as Peter Parker. I understand why some feel he's terrible. Peter isn't exactly likable. He's a punk. Why was he written this way? To really stand out from Tobey Maguire? For humor's sake? Maybe the writers didn't really understand Spider-Man or Peter. Go ahead. Take it. I guess some were annoyed by the skateboarding. I didn't mind it, I just think it's weird. Were there any other skateboarding versions? Are there writer skateboarders? Is it still huge now? I think it was huge in the 80s and 90s. Maybe I should look up skateboarding on Wikipedia. Emma Stone was good. Yeah, I like her in general. Gwen is a decent character. I'm sure some feel she's bland. She isn't a damsel in distress, which I appreciate it. I guess everyone appreciate it. It's like the producers told the writers, Gwen can't get captured because the haters were mad Mary Jane got captured over and over again. Rin Irfan was okay. Dr. Connors was a generic villain. He somehow felt wizards are cool, so he wanted to turn everyone into wizards. How does the wizard look? He looks lame. He doesn't look scary or intimidating. This movie has several deleted scenes. I guess they were all cut for time. They reveal Connors has a son. He really shouldn't have been deleted. He would have given Connors some more depth or an emotional hook. This movie honestly would have been better if some of these scenes were kept in. This movie being an origin story was stupid. Spider-Man's origin is well known. This movie should have started off with Peter as Spider-Man, and it would have given us at least two flashbacks. Sony came up with a brilliant take on the untold story. It was a crock of shit. It was the same fucking thing, or a similar enough origin story anyway. Martin Sheen was good. I guess he enjoyed the Raimi movies. Ben gets shot like in the first movie. However, his death scene was written sloppily. He doesn't get carjacked, he stumbles upon the burglar, and he gets shot. So yeah, it was his own damn fault he got shot. Yeah, Andrew was good in the scene. Peter becomes Spider-Man for vengeance. He searches for his uncle killer, never finds him though, which I guess pissed off a lot of people. He fights several burglars and takes him to jail. This reminds me of Arrow. Oliver Queen started off his career for vengeance. He harassed several criminals on his father's list before helping people. This movie was heavily inspired by Batman Begins, the dark tone and the story structure. Making a dark and gritty Spider-Man movie was a decent idea, but there shouldn't be any more dark Spider-Man movies. Spider-Man is lighthearted, simple as that. The Raimi movies have good effects for the most part, but the Swinton scenes were digital. The Swinton scenes here were for real, which was nice, but they mostly took place at night. The crane scene was cool, I guess it was digital. The Swinton scenes in the sequel were digital, I guess out of laziness. The Amazing Spider-Man gets a C. It's not bad, it's a generic superhero movie. It was heavily inspired by Batman Begins. Andrew Garfield and Emma Stone were good. Let me know what you thought of The Amazing Spider-Man. Did you like it or hate it? You might as well let me know what you thought of the sequel. Thanks as always for watching guys. Shares are appreciated. My Twitter link is down below. I'm really excited for Spider-Man Homecoming. I've seen two reviews, Chris Duckman and John Campia. If you're new to my channel, please consider subbing me. I review movies and trailers. I'll talk to you later. Alrighty then.